Welcome in everybody to part 66 of the daily journey vlog. Um, today, I'm going to talk about patience. But first, let me give a shout out to Rook. Um, thank you for telling me that to push, to put everything into what I'm doing and be ready to give it up because there is a beauty in trying when it comes to anything that you have in mind and seeing how it goes. And so thanks for reminding me to just uh, give it our best shot. So thanks for that, Rook. Um, but today is about patience. And I mentioned this a lot. Punch it right here. I mentioned that I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> um, it's quite funny because I think my parents tried so hard to to help me with that by you know not giving me what I always wanted making me wait like you know Christmas reminded me that my parents made me wait till Christmas to open things you know those little things they're, they're trying to condition you to become more patient but after some thoughts I, I realized that patience is very hard to attain and I, I know that it is a virtue but for me it's something that I just don't have and so recently I've done a few puzzles and you know a thought occurred to me maybe I should start doing things that require a lot of patience so that I can build tolerance towards you know when I want something and I kind of blame myself a little bit because I'm supposed I suppose the way I function as of recently is when I want something, I usually give it to myself. And I'll give an example. Um, when I want something, like a, a piece of clothing, like an article of clothing that I want, I just give in. I mean like, oh man, you deserve it. And, you know, just go for it. You don't treat yourself a lot. Which is true. But also, it's like not practice it's like instant gratification you know i can always get that clothing further down the line in my life but i choose to buy it right now and i talked about that is having your own timeline you know i'll link the video right here or i think it's right here oh i keep forgetting which side but anyways i talk about you know just pausing and realizing that you create your own timeline but for me i just give it to me you know and that that almost feeds into instant gratification that oh i can get what i want right now you know it kind of makes me sound spoiled but it doesn't help with patience and discipline and so i think moving forward i have to keep practicing patience because a lot of what I have going on in life, um, in terms of modeling, in terms of my schooling, it's really pushing me to the edge because I, I'm so impatient. Like, well, how, how come I'm not in school right now? How come I'm not getting uh, any clients right now? And so, and I'm constantly checking and checking and checking and it's not healthy. And that's why I want to address it. It's because in life, patience is actually a virtue that I don't have and I want to have it. And if you have any ideas, comment down below what I can do to be more patient. Again, like, it's not something you can acquire. I, I guess the only way to acquire it is to practice it. And again, I, I keep talking about it and I just don't know what to do. <laughs> and that's the big problem is I don't know what to do. How do you become more, how do you become a very patient person? And so I'll end it off there. Thanks for watching. Uh, go check out my, my, my recent vlog right here. I talk about uh, reading books and how much of an appreciation I've recently had for them. And also the rest of the, the daily journey vlogs. I wanna clarify, it's no longer health journey vlogs. Although I'm, I'm still gonna be addressing a lot of health related reasons or topics rather uh, and don't forget to subscribe um, to follow along my journey um, I know some days are like just talking and some days it's a little bit more exciting with a little bit of short film uh, I'm sorry I can't be more consistent but I think 
the only thing I'm consistent about is posting every day. So, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later. Stay healthy.